Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. In this video I am going to show you some tips and tricks on how to potty train your bunny so you can let your bunny out and about on adventures around your house. While she has a very small cage, she's only in there at night or when we're not at home. For the rest of the day, she has this entire area to run and play. And this is where potty training becomes very important because it helps keep the place clean. Over the past few months, I have tried a variety of different litter boxes, but this mesh litter box is my favorite because Mochi has a tendency to love to dig. As you can see, she already digged out all of the hay and treats that I put in her food bowl. So because there's a wire mesh on top of here, this prevents her from flinging her poop all over the house. When choosing a litter box for your bunny, I suggest that the bigger is better. Go for the largest size you can get so that way when your bunny grows up, they can fit comfortably inside the litter box. These are the clips that came with it and of course Mouse Pig, who I was pet sitting, and Banana were helping me uh, assemble this. So this is super easy. You don't want anything that is too complicated. Make sure it is deep enough so that you can fit a uh, litter and bunny poop can fit in there. You also want tall edges because bunnies do like to mark, especially if you have a male. This will protect the walls of your house. So to teach your bunny how to be litter trained, first sweep up some of their old poop as well as some hay and put it in a corner inside the litter box. As you can see, Mochi's frolicking around as I'm doing that and bananas helping and then I'm gonna reach in and grab some of her litter and I'm going to start putting it in you want a litter that is very absorbent so that way uh, when your bunny pees will very easily absorb everything this will help um, prevent your place from becoming very smelly so you want to fill it up all around so that way when your bunny pees in everywhere it will get absorbed but you don't want to fill it up all the way you want to leave some space between the litter and the bars so that way when your bunny poops um, the poop will won't be sticking out of the bars it'll still have somewhere to go so yeah there I am I'm covering it up now the reason I'm putting the old litter and the old poop and old hay in there and kind of moving it around is because that smell will attract uh, mochi or your bunny in this case and encourage your bunny to want to go potty in that spot now while you're potty training it is very important to clean your cage multiple times a day sweep it up and put it all in the litter box and that will encourage your bunny to go in the same spot so here I'll be testing by putting the lid on top and as you can see I have about half an inch of space this will um, give me a lot of room for all the bunny poops to fit so this is what it looks like uh, inside the cage after I cleaned everything up. And as you can see, I put the hay on top above it. So whenever she eats hay, it will kind of all fall down into her litter box. So A, it helps keep it clean. B, it also helps encourage her to go use her litter box because for some reason bunnies tend to like to pee on hay. I don't know. And here I replaced and cleaned up her food in the corner so as you can see this is her little setup it's kind of cute it took mochi one day to get used to her new litter box and it took me about four days to teach her how to use her previous one so keep it up keep your cage clean and your bunny will also learn how to use their litter box so I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful. Don't forget to give your bunny lots of love, veggies, and lots of outdoor time to play outside of their cage. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.